Hey, Brian from Black Seed, if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. So what we're doing today is I have the 50 Chevy pickup and just kind of need a better way to move it around. If you followed some of my Instagram pictures early on, you'd see this thing had a, you know, a huge console in it up to the dash with a ratchet shifter that didn't work really well. Uh, had a couple late model Honda bucket seats in it. Uh, pre and and some really nice Berber house carpet. So I ripped all that stuff out a few months ago when I got the truck. I have a few more things going on to it very soon. Um, but basically, I need a way to drive it around. It runs and drives now. Leaks, several issues, you know, there I got to figure out. And we're going to put Air Ride on it. But uh, I just need a way to move it around. So... For the, was it 47? I, I normally call them 48 to 53, uh, but I believe technically it's 47 to 55 first series on those advanced design Chevy trucks. Um, whatever. So mine's a 50. Uh, so a square body bench seat will fit in these trucks. And I've, and you know, I'll, I'll go on a rant about you know, how I don't like anything but aftermarket seats, whatever. I, I'm just moving it around. Hell, I may end up using it, but I'll, I'll have to rework the foam and uh, recover the seat. So the thing is, with the square body seats in those trucks, it fits, it fits a little tight, right? The whole seat could be, you know, narrowed maybe two and a half inches and fit a lot better, um, which would mean you'd have to cut the foam, cut the frame, and weld it all back together. I typically do that out of the center. If I end up keeping it, I'll do that. Uh, I prefer the Snowden custom bench seats. I'm putting one in the 65, and I'll do a video when when I do the upholstery on it, uh, which is should be coming soon. 65 has a couple more things. Well, a list of about 10 small things to do before we hit Lone Star Throwdown. Um, the 50 won't be ready, obviously, by then. That's more of a summer project, and um, I'm outsourcing a few things to a buddy, trying to get a four-link and air ride on it now. But anyway, I need a way to drive it around so I can get it on and off the trailer and, uh, you know, moved around to a couple different friend shops to get, uh, get me caught up. So this is me getting rid of the stand that the original seat sets on the original seat frame because the square body seat has sliders on it and I actually like it set pretty low if you throw it on top of the stand one you have to make something for that platform piece of metal piece of wood whatever and then your seats really like five inches too too tall if you set it right on the floor in these trucks it's actually a good height the window hits you you know a few inches of, uh, below the armpit but, um, you know, anywhere from stock to maybe two inches of height is all you want. And remember, and I, I don't do it to this seat yet, but remember, you want like three to five degrees of angle on a seat. Otherwise, if your seat's set flat or forward, it just feels like you're sliding out of it. And that's one thing people don't account for when they're throwing seats in a street rod or a truck or something of that nature. If you're swapping around square body seats or OBS seats, it's cool, but if you're jamming another car seat into like, like a muscle car, street rod, something like that, you have to account for that angle so it doesn't feel like you're falling out of the thing. Um, so this is me removing the platform, how I do it. I'm gonna use an air saw, an air chisel, and a grinder. Uh, that's about it. Hopefully it gives you all uh, some ideas or maybe some folks that just want to use a square body seat need something or need something temporary like myself uh, hell i may use it in the end we'll we'll see how it rides out and uh, obviously it needs recovered and for my taste at bare minimum i probably need a little bit of bolster on it and a couple two and a half inches taken out of the center let's get to the work
the air hammer makes quick work of the spot welds. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm just trying to focus on the spot welds only and pulling the channel up and hitting just spot weld. I'm going to come back and do these tank mounts later. They have several in it. It needs uh, a little more attention just so I don't rip the floor going through it. It's the other thing you got to watch. If, if you hit it at the wrong angle, you'll stick your chisel right through the floor or the uh, spot weld will kind of roll back and rip the floor. So just try not to make uh, extra work for myself. What I do is I lift it up and I'm just looking for the spot weld.
There we go. So we got it done. Just careful consideration to the air hammer because you hit those spot welds wrong or, um, you know, just it'll just peel it back like you're peeling a tin can. So just watch that. Be careful going into them. Have a sharp chisel on it. Uh, mine got super dull there towards the end. Um, but we accomplished what we needed to. I've already th tossed the seat in. I haven't bolted it down or anything yet. Do it sets low the way I like it. I got to do something with that stupid column later on. But really the only thing right now, um, it's still running and driving. There's, there's really no wiring kit in this thing. It'll basically fire. You can drive it. Brakes work. That's it. Um, but I'm going to send it off to a buddy. We're going to four link it. We're going to change the gas tank out. Still run the S10 saddle gas tank. And then it will come back here for wiring. I think I'm going to have him shoot it in uh, different color, satin color, something like that. Uh, but I've already tossed the seat in. It works. If you need need something cheap for a project, I think I paid 50 bucks for this seat. It's got a couple rips in it. Later, I'm going to change it to a Snowden seat, but it takes time to cover some of that stuff. And with all of my projects, this works. We can probably ride it next summer just like this and while I'm um, just kind of working the seat in for this project. It's killing me that the rear, you know, this frame one cut, so the rear wheel sets further back. I want to address that first, get the wiring right, and just kind of get it roadworthy. Uh, runs much better now. Um, changed out the carb, changed out the intake, but I want a new tank on it and a sniper system just so a little more reliable. Uh, we got to do a compression test on this engine and everything, make sure that it's running as well as it should. I've already got, you know, cooling in the oil and everything. I think I got all that fixed. But anyway, I want to show you the seat, how it turned out. So here you have it, square body seat in the 48 through 55 first series. It works. I like them low. I like them sitting just like that. You could probably, you could probably raise it two or three inches if you like. See how tight it is in the corners. I mean, it's not super tight. We just push it in, but that's where I say, hey, you could probably take two and a half, three inches out of it. That handle is over the uh is over the door seal but the door actually moves it around pushes it a little bit i got columns i got get i mean hell we got everything right just picked up the inside garnish moldings and windshield divider trim so i'm gonna have to get that in um but right now interiors changed quite a bit i've had several rat rods hell this thing will ride it just like this. It doesn't matter. If it runs, it's done. Watch that piece right at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it now. It just kind of... Doors all the way closed. There's a little flex in it. We pushed it. But... If you're just needing something to, to ride one of these Thrift Masters, square body bench seat. It'll work. Sometimes hot rodding's all about just making shit work, getting out there, having fun. Doesn't matter what it looks like, it's still a project. But, I mean, well, it's got no lights or anything. If you wanted to danger ride this thing, I'd take it down the street right now. That's, uh, appreciate you watching. There's more to come on that. As, as, as you're starting to see, I got like 15 projects all at one time, but... Uh, I'm, I'm sending things to, to buddies, narcoleptics or uh, wildfire auto restorations. Those guys are helping me. Thanks. Um, but, you know, tons of projects. We'll keep them going. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. Well, there we go. There we have it. So that probably took overall 